Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's go funny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do. We really do appreciate and we are very, very grateful for 21,000 subscribers. Uh, please continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook as Fanny and Jesse. Just head there. Um, say hi we'll say hi back you can check out our second youtube channel our vlogging channel funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm going to be reacting to a video and this one is called muhammad innocence of muslims spoken word response so without wasting time let's get into the video Titled a Sadiq al Amin, the honest and upright. He came at a time when people were burying their daughters alive. The savior and liberator of all of women's rights. He was the best husband to his wife, the best friend to his tribe, the best leader to lead a nation of might. He was the most equal to his people, no matter you black or you white. He's the freer of the slaves, so go ahead and talk as you like. Bilal ibn Rabah, the first black man to enter Islam into Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was ready to give up his life. Why? He was a man of truth and a man of justice. A man of humility, yet a man of toughness. A man of mercy. Just look at the city of Tartif. Pelted and stoned as he preached alone. Heartbroken and cold, bruised bones and blood soaked shoes. Yet he just moved on and prayed to his Lord. Oh Lord, as long as you're pleased with me. It doesn't matter at all until Angel Gabriel descended and declared, Give me one word. And I flipped these homes. He said, No. Just hold on, despite everything they did to me, I'ma just let it go. For the land may one day breed some sweet believing souls. So you still wanna know why we love him more than we love our own. An orphan since birth, yet he was still strict in obedience to the mother. Heaven is under her feet, so be good and be sure to love her. And know you're not a Muslim unless you love for yourself what you love for each other. Do not waste water, even if you're at a running stream. And even if you're at war, do not hurt the plants and the trees. A lover of the environment, so much so a tree shed tears once he no longer needed it to lean. A lady was never forgiven because a kitten she failed to feed. Animals would rush to him because of how he treats inequity. Birds would flock over him whenever they would see. Because they could see he's a man of morality and virtue. Taught humans how to be humans and to have patience on those who hurt you. For of course the soul of mercy is better than a soul that's revengeful. Have mercy in the lands and he in the heavens won't ever desert you. Rank number one in Michael Hart's most influential. Feed the hungry. Visit the sick and make sure you free the captives. These are the wise words that I've captured from the one who accepted every being. No matter how bad his past is. Because pride is for the jahils. Those who are ignorant and backwards. So go ahead and do what you do best. And let the haters keep hating. While you're busy drawing and painting. Burning and making films that are desecrating the concept of art. How dare you disgrace it. Take your film and just break it. Matter of fact, just erase it. You waste the space as you hide inside and try to escape it. You knew what you were doing. Just grow up and just face it. You better just pray that we as patient as the one you portrayed in an image that's not true but a figment of your imagination. And know you're not free from fault. Because it was you who created and sparked the result in destruction and devastation. Because there's freedom of speech, but there's not freedom of hatred. To a man who cried every night for the sake of humanity. 
Ummati, Ummati, fearing the day with a face reality When we're all brought forward to our Lord with no idea what is happening A day where no friend can help you, nor a sibling to his family A day where they appear drunk and overtaken by insanity This is crazy, it's a catastrophe The sun is close to my face, I can feel its gravity All the people rush to Adam, Noah, Moses and Ibrahim and Finally go to Jesus But Jesus says that I'm afraid that God is mad at me They took me as a Lord I have no idea what's going to happen to me Go to Muhammad Peace and blessings of Allah be upon he For the second he intercedes and prostrates to his Lord His Lord commands him to speak He doesn't raise his head until he screams Please leave everybody who believes even if it was an atom or a mustard seed And yes, his prayers are answered For they are guaranteed So don't ask me again why I love him more than I love me Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Uh, I remember I reacted to some something or was it I don't even remember what the video was about but it was talking about how Muslims love them, themselves more than love love Muhammad more than themselves and um, that was quite interesting to listen to at the end of the day when you look at Muhammad Muhammad is very much praised because of the things he was doing and I think people relate to him, or Muslims relate to him, because he was as human as he was, wasn't, um, how can I put it, like, he wasn't of error, he was just human beings. His fault was, he's um, fasted, he's done this and that, and taking care of those that needed care, you know. And he also spoke about how he's the first, number one, uh, influential person it speaks volume why was he number one you have to ask yourself that many people won't understand and may disagree as to why he's number one but you have to look at what he's done for the society or just whoever he came across you know his impact of those around him that's interesting and we haven't spoke that uh, and we haven't reacted to spoken word in a long long time it was actually nice to listen to this um, at the end of the day, give credit where you have to give credit. Give praise where you have to um, give praise. If someone has done something to change lives of one person, 20 people, a thousand, millions, then praise them for that. You don't have to uh, accept everything, but you can just see some of their deeds, read about some of their deeds and see how or how they went about those deeds and how people appreciate them for that otherwise i really really love stories about muhammad so stories videos whatever it is i really really love them and it would be up to others to accept this or continue criticizing otherwise those that believe that he was a messenger of god and believe the message he came with just go with it share it with whoever you have to share it with because I've realized that many people argue when they don't know something. They'll argue with you because it doesn't make sense how someone should be like the most influential in the world because they don't know his dates. It's always good like that those with information go out there and share that information be it with friends, with people, and those people are actually willing to listen. Um, I really enjoyed this video. Not much to say because it actually, everything was straightforward. You can just listen to it and grasp what he's trying to say. He's just praising Muhammad in this video according to what I've heard and that's how I've decided to interpret what I've heard from this video. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe. If there's anything you want me to react to, drop the name or the link down below and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest and I'll see you next time.